Hempstead High School on Long Island has one of the lowest graduation rates in the country, and it's about to enter what's called receivership. That means it has one year to turn around a decade of failure before an outside entity takes over. So what's at the heart of the district's perpetual struggles? CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff investigates. When I say chaotic, it was chaotic. This former principal of Hempstead High School paints a pitiful picture of its inner workings. Now retired, Reginald Strawn is an insider speaking out. The credits and courses and attendance was all health skelter. Dysfunctional administrators, he says, fail in the basics, like keeping track of transcripts and enrollment. The book is missing with all of our transcripts. I'll be one of the better if you ask them what is the exact attendance in Hempstead right now. They couldn't tell you. Chaos, he says, reflected in an abysmal 37% graduation rate, less than half the national average. Nobody was watching the store. We should have better people working here. It's tough. It's it's really tough. The district's poor performance. Performance not for lack of money. Per pupil spending is well above the state average. We never know exactly where that money is going. Why are there no textbooks, no workbooks, no curriculum guides? Many teachers we spoke with fearful to reveal their identity. It's like a, a ship without a captain. Even in the lower schools, disorganization, lack of discipline, and protocols. Furniture being thrown and things being broken in the classrooms, teachers being punched and spit on. And they believe at the heart of the district's problems. A lot of teachers are not really qualified for their jobs. Um, they happen to know someone at the Board of Education or they know the superintendent. Allegations of rampant patronage and nepotism. I've heard them often uh, from people from the district, from employees of the district. Board of Regents member Roger Tillis says a culture of nepotism and patronage is an open secret. When you have a high unemployment rate, the key to being elected to the board in those areas is getting friends, relatives, jobs. As a result, you had people being appointed to jobs who were not qualified to do those jobs. Let's put it that way. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that had a real detrimental effect for kids. A recent state controller audit found unqualified staffers. An aide paid $60,000 for a 10 month job, lacked a required college degree, a coach lacked a coaching license. A school board assistant paid $95,000 a year with no known duties. Strawn says administrators were often hired out of nowhere. They would tell us these three candidates and then somebody else would be appointed for the job who was in the pool. There are teachers in the school who make grammatical mistakes on the blackboard all the time. Conjugate the verb jog, they jogs. Spell quarter and character. Official documents urge cheek your work. Library books labeled non-fiction. The audit also found the board appointed administrators with no documented plan, reason, or clear benefit to the district and closed the public out of more than half of school board meetings. The school board president at the helm for only a year says he's aware of rumors but has no firsthand knowledge of pervasive cronyism. He declined an on camera interview but told me current school board members have, quote, a moral compass and are doing their best to ensure this doesn't happen on their watch. Challenges complicated. By a huge recent influx of immigrant children. Critics are hoping two newly appointed school board members will bring change. There is something that is endemically wrong um, in the Hempstead culture, and the culture needs to be changed. A paradigm shift needs to take place. This parent has another name for the status quo corruption. I believe that's the heart. It's been going on for 30 years. We need to help our children. They're not going to succeed. And that's the reason that we have a low graduation rate at Hempstead High School. They give up. The key to change, says Regent Tillis, the acceptance of help when it's offered. That has not, he says, been the case in Hempstead. Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. A community action group has asked the Nassau County District Attorney to investigate allegations of corruption in the Hempstead School District. The DA tells CBS 2 that investigation is ongoing.